Well, guys, Hollywood is on strike, so let's all grab our picket signs and go marching. Boom, chaka, boom, chaka, boom, boom, boom. But honestly, I want to strike Hollywood for some other reasons, because if you look at the movies that have come out lately, they all suck. We need some new, fresh movies, not just reboots and sequels. I'm getting bored, but I will say Oppenheimer and The Sound of Freedom are the only good film releases of the year. But back to the strike. Over 11,500 writers have been on strike since early May of this year against the Hollywood studios over ongoing labor disputes to push for higher wages, staffing minimums, and regulations on artificial intelligence. I'm unstoppable! But right now, over 100,000 working writers and actors are on strike fighting against these major filmmakers. Many studios are looking to explore the use of AI for a multitude of tasks in the film industry, from writing screenplays to animation, visual effects, and maybe even acting. Now, the last time that there was a writer strike, it lasted 100 days, and it cost $1.2 billion to the California economy alone. The bottom line is studios and production companies want to make more money and a lot of investors that are looking to studios want to see better productions. This strike is expected to last into the fall or even longer and it's disrupting the entire industry, putting the pressure on the studios and streaming platforms to produce more original content. Now, artificial intelligence is only one piece of this huge strike puzzle. I mean, AI is inevitable. With just one quick story synopsis plugged in, artificial intelligence will be able to write compelling storylines and screenplays at the click of a button. The Writers Guild can't stop the technological advancements, but AI doesn't just assist writers, it would replace writers altogether. We've already seen the capacity that machine learning and AI have when it comes to deep fakes and engineering voices and images on the internet. An ice cold bug bite. So good. Ah. Who is to say that AI couldn't create a film all on its own eventually in time? Now, the industry already has the synthetic media category for this kind of technology, like visual effects and completely created AI video, but there is no regulation in Hollywood surrounding this small parameter, which is the problem. So here are my thoughts on the Hollywood strike. Sure, actors want fair residuals on films and shows they are in, which makes perfect sense to me. But the thing is, is streaming platforms would then have to be transparent with the view numbers that they're pulling in, which isn't looking so good for them. If you think about it, this is what the big fight is all about. Residuals. Now, what really is a residual? Well, every single time that you watch a rerun of your favorite show on cable TV, like Friends, those actors are still getting paid. God, isn't this exciting? I earned this. But now that streaming platforms have started to take on a lot of these large series, actors are no longer getting paid every single time that you rewatch a show. Not worth it. <laughs> okay, stay with me here. Actors are kind of shooting themselves in the foot with the residual strike, these streaming services aren't actually sharing their viewership numbers to the public. They know them and they're keeping them hidden because they're not actually making any money and they're not getting the viewership that their shareholders think that they are. So if companies like Netflix had to reveal that your favorite Netflix show actually was tanking in viewership numbers, then these actors wouldn't be getting paid as much money as they think they would be. These actors will actually be putting themselves out of more work because producers and writers aren't gonna be putting out as much content as they would be if the numbers were hidden. Is the residual fight actually worth it? I mean, we've all seen the major streaming studios Studios take massive subscriber and revenue hits in the past few years, so how is this going to be any different? Because these actors are reliant on the residual income, then I don't see how actors will actually be making more money if now actors are going to be out of work, which we already know the acting industry is super oversaturated as it is. Imagine there's no heaven. 
easy if you try. But the film industry has been falling flat, creating more woke cinema, and the shift has been moved largely to consumers focusing on streaming services, which obviously poses its own challenges for Hollywood. Hollywood is a direct pipeline to psychological warfare. I'm just saying, aside from Top Gun Maverick and honestly Oppenheimer, Hollywood's track record is woke. So buckle up and get ready to see a lot of re-recordings and not a lot of new content released until these studios figure out what to do. Hey. Hey, I've seen this one. I've seen this one. This is a classic. And don't forget, if you want to see more content like this, be sure to like this video, subscribe to our channel, and hit that notification bell so you can be notified the next time we post. See you next time.